Okay guys, it's RV tip day today. What are we doing today? We're sanitizing the system. But today it's not all about the sanitizing of the system because I'm not going to show you all that stuff you probably already know, like add bleach to your system, turn on your water valves, let it sit, all that stuff. All I'm showing you today is, is if you have a similar coach to mine, to where you only have two water ports like this, a city connection, and a fill with no other ways of filling your water, no other ports around the RV, then this tip is going to be helpful for you. Because what Coachman says is you need to go through the winter winterizing technique to add bleach to your water system, which means you open up the bed, you get access to the water pump, you put on your connections, and then you act, literally suck or pump the fluid into your system. And then from there, you got to turn on all your stuff, just like you would any other coach. Now, with this particular coach, though, I believe in being simple. And simple to me is, is grabbing your water hose, making sure it's completely empty, okay? Rehook it up. You're going to go to Walmart or any other automotive store or whatever and get you one of these. <clears throat> Not necessary, but this is what I use, okay? It can be hooked up to gallons or, or, or quarts. This only is being used for this. I don't mix oil with this type of stuff. This is just a clean funnel, okay? You're going to get a lot of people that are precise. And what they'll do is they'll put like a quarter of a cup of of, of bleach to 15 gallons of water it's not that serious guys I meant there's times to be serious but that's not one of them you don't have to be right on the money with that stuff what I do is I eyeball just like a cook I eyeball my ingredients and that is I put approximately three quarters of a cup of bleach to my entire tank which is I think roughly 50 55 gallons somewhere in there I've been doing this for a long time. It's never given me a problem, and it's uh, and it's always been good. I, I've never had an issue. Um, hook it directly after you add the the bleach to your hose. You hook it right up to your port here, and go turn the water on. There you go. You just injected bleach right into your system. You're mixing it as you're going, and it's and then when you get into the winter the procedure of sanitation or sanitizing. Uh, you can, you know, turn on your water valves and let it sit and do, do your deal there. Uh, the second tip is, is I also use that same identical technique because <clears throat> this doesn't have a black tank hookup to where I can scrub the black tank out. My bathroom is literally on the other side. I have two gate valves to open it. One's electric and one's manual on this side. And for me to hook up any device on the outside of here and try to flush it all the way to the other side and up on an angle the way this thing's ran would just be a nightmare. Like I said, once again, simpler is always better in my mind. And what I do is I use the same technique. But I go to a store, any store you choose, and I get this right here. Okay, this is like six, seven bucks. They do have flexible ones of these if your tank is different. Mine's straight down. Straight down the toilet, I can see my tank. Some of them are on an angle. You might need the flexible one. But if you use the same technique, guys, add bleach to your hose. Okay? Go ahead and hook this up. Run it through and let it go to work. It definitely sanitizes your system. Now, I don't know how often you guys do it. I do it quite often. But my tank is completely empty now. It's already been rinsed out. It does not have any blue stuff in it, sanitizer or deodorizer it doesn't have any of that stuff in it right now so now's the time for me to do this and get it cleaned up I've never had sensor problems or anything like that uh, it's actually worked out very very well for me when I've had coaches like this this is the way I've always done it um, other than that guys uh, after I rinse the whole thing out one other quick 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 tip it's always good to have some sort of liquid in these coaches okay uh, just like your black tank when you add the you know blue sanitizer or, or deodorizer uh, to the black tank it's good you don't want your seals to dry out you know keep some water in the toilet bowl you don't want the seals to dry out 
Uh, same way with your gray tank. Uh, these valves, these gate valves are known to get really hard to open and close uh, and it's because they're dried out. Just keep liquid in it. Um, every so often you're definitely going to, if you don't use your coach enough, you're definitely going to have to deodorize and clean out your gray tank because sometimes that water smells worse than the black tank does if you let it sit for a long period of time. So here I am rambling on for about a, a bunch of other tips, but that's just a quick tip for you guys. I hope this helps somebody. I do appreciate everybody watching. If you have any other comments, uh, leave them below. Any suggestions, leave them below. Any A different way that you do it. I'm always open to learning other people's techniques. And uh, once again, I appreciate everybody. And we'll talk to you soon. See ya.